Hey guys, welcome to RK Keynotes. In this video, I'm going to discuss the CRUD application using JDBC connection. So over here, you can see that my database name is statements and I have only one table over here. So I have written a code in my Java application where it should create a table name for me. For example, we can see that the first one is create table and then it is going to create a table in the name of RK Keynotes. And I'm gonna have four columns in that, like ID, name, age, and city with the data types. Okay, so it is going to create for a table and then it is going to create four columns for me, right? So let's uh, walk around the code. Now you can see that I'm going to use two packages. One is import java.sql and I'm going to use util for scanner. So in this, uh, basically CRUD, C-R-U-D stands for create, uh, R for retrieval, and U for update, and D for delete. So for creating, you can use either create uh, or insert statement. And then for retrieval, you can use a select uh, SQL query. And for update, we will be using update SQL query. And for D for, D means deletion. Fine. So these are all the operations which we are going to perform using switch case. So here, class and then main method throws these exceptions. And uh, the first line we know that registering the driver, which is not mandatory here, it, it will show that deprecated uh, for the latest versions. And I, I have three variables here. The database name is statements and the username is root. There is no password. And I'm just passing these three variables into this connection interface using this get connection and driver manager class. All right, now uh, there are two statements which I'm going to use, statement and uh, prepared statement. Basically, when we use prepared statement, wherever we do manipulation, right, DML. So manipulation in the sense, for example, create, insert, uh, then uh, we're gonna delete uh, a record. Uh, so we will be using prepared statement. So when to use this particular thing, whenever you want to display or whenever you want to run a basic SQL statement, a static SQL statement, we mean. Um, so basically, if you run, if you want to display all the records from the table, we will be using this um, select query. And even here, we can add uh, this update. So this is the entire scenario. So wherever I use create, insert, delete, and update queries, I'll be using prepared statement. And whenever we use prepared statement, we know that we have to use one method that is execute update, right? And whenever we use select and we simply write uh, execute, execute query method. So this is very simple. So if you are clear with these things, then it will be very easy for you, the upcoming, you know, uh, lines of code will be easy for you to understand all right now i have these uh, variables uh, one is i'm going to use all these queries so i'll keep all those queries in one single variable in each case okay then in the database uh, i have a statements database my table will get created in my table just now i have shown you that it is going to create four columns for me so id age name and city and this choice variable is for the switch statement okay and then here i'm using scanner and then here this is infinite uh, loop and um, here i'm going to display all the options like jdbc crud application create insert update delete select and exit so i'm asking for the user choice and the user is going to enter his choice if the choice is one so then it should create the table so, so how it is going to create so first let me remove this try catch for some reason um i'll explain this uh, for you then <clears throat> uh, creating table so it'll, it should create a table in this name and four columns fine and uh, i'm using as i said that we are going to use prepared statement and passing this query into this we will use execute update method because we need to do some changes in the database that's it and then break so state case two is about once the table is created and then i need to create uh, insert records fine so how many uh, values I'm going to insert? Four, because we have four columns, like ID, name, age, and city. This is already defined. We have declared these variables in the top. Now I'm using this insert SQL statement 
and then i need to pass these accepted values to these placeholders all right how to pass that one using the set method so i'm using set in set string this is the first the one represents first placeholder and this is the variable value which we have taken so basically we are uh, this particular statement sql statement is passed into prepared statement here now again we know that which method is to be used execute update because we are inserting values fine and case three is very simple again for updating so that is up to you which particular value you want to update but in this case i am going to uh, update all the three columns based on id why i'm saying this because you see this uh this is the sql statement right so update table name and then uh, okay i guess i need to change the table name here all right that i'll do mm, we were in update yeah update table name and then uh, set i'm using three columns if you want to update only one column then specify only one column so three columns the three placeholders where so using id i'm going to update the record so again i'm doing modifications means manipulation dml so i'm using prepared statement and i'm using i need to pass all these values to the placeholders yes using set method and then finally i'm executing it so execute update method we are using so wherever we do changes we use execute update all right and the fourth case is about deleting the record so here we need only one input why because based on input i mean based on the id we are going to delete so i'm just going to accept the id number from the user and then i'm using this delete from table name where id equal to the placeholder so the um i'm using prepared statement again because it is again dml and i'm just setting only one because only one value required to set over here i'm just using it then <clears throat> I'm using execute update method and then the record will get deleted so case number five is for printing all the records so I'm just using select uh, SQL query here and then we know that uh, if it is select I mean uh, to display all the records we need to put it in the result set and all so we do use execute query because we are not providing any input or we are not modifying anything so we are just going to display the records from the table so we use execute query method and then i want to put this one in the result set you see this here it is statement in the above uh, things wherever we do dml we use prepared statement fine ps all right now once the result set got the uh, table of data now we need to iterate and we need to you know print all the columns like this is this get into one represents the first column from the table and this is the second column and third and fourth column now we know that result set uh, is a cursor which moves forward only if you don't specify anything yeah of course we don't specify anything in the top like sense type scroll sensitive or insensitive is not specified so it displays it it moves forward only and then it will display all the records for me okay now that's it so case six uh i'm just saying um uh you know thank you and the default uh in default case i'm just saying that invalid selection that's it now the objective uh the change for us is i'm using the table name here as crud one so i just want to uh, use the table name here uh let me just put it here as crud one that's it now if i run this now you can see that run and my choice is the first choice is to create the table right i'm saying that my choice is one and creating table table is created fine now let's check it in the mysql database and then you see this i have got this uh, table got created that is crud one and we have got four columns all right and after creating these four columns we have to just after creating these four columns uh, we need to insert records but here i want to just show you the importance of try catch block what if i have stopped uh, the execution of the program now i have stopped it fine now i'm trying to execute it again the same program okay so let's see what error we are going to get 
Now I'm trying to run this again. And I'm running it. Yeah, the program is executing. But there is an issue. What is the first option? Create. Do you think that uh, we will get the output? No, because the table is already created, right? So we didn't use try catch bl uh, block also to catch the exception. Now, of course, it is going to rise an exception and it is going to stop the program. Now, let me say one. Now you see this creating table, but it says that crud one already exists. So which means my program was, got also stopped. I could not continue after this. So this is why we use try catch block, right? So even though there is an error, it will you catch the exception and then it will not stop the program it will try to continue uh, fine so let's do that over here so what we need to add is we just have to in case one right i'm creating this is about create a uh, statement so let me just try try and uh, so after this i once so let me just say I'll just close the try block here and if there is any error means exception i need to catch the exception and then what should i say uh, i need to just say table table already exist right fine so done now let's try to run this program and now you see the beauty of catching the exception i'm just executed it um the program is executing now i'm saying the choice is one now we know that the table is already there but will it stop the program execution no you see this the choice is one and it is saying that the table already exists we have catched the exception getting it and now you see it is keep on continuing the code to execute so uh, please try to uh, you know use uh, i mean or catch the exception wherever is required right now let me proceed with the execution now what should i do i want to insert a record let me say the choice is two and i'm saying the id is um, 34 or 344 and then the name is rk and then age is 10 and then the city is uh, chennai done so you can see that it is inserted so we can print the record over here itself i want to see whether it is inserted or what so let me use this select right option five so now there is only one record from my table got listed means printed here so let's refresh even here crud one so you can see that there is only one record okay okay now uh, i just need to update the record so let's update the record now so the option three and the record number is 344 344 over here let me say rk underscore i want to update in this name and then the age let's say 25 and enter city um earlier it is chennai so now i'll change it to raj code okay now it is updated let's display the data again the choice is five and you can see that it is updated now and the same goes in the back end that's the previous record is this and uh, if you refresh then you can see that it is updated in the back end even and then what else left with us uh, we need to just delete one of the record so we have only one record so let's say four so based on id i'm going to delete so the id number is 344 here and it says that the data is deleted so now let's try to print something from the table let's say five and if i do so uh, print all the records that is from the system dot dot print ln we have kept but there is no such records right so it is not printing anything for us so now let's check it out do we have is it deleted or what yes it is deleted now so and the last choice is for exit let me say six and it will get exited also it is mandatory to use this mysql connector in your library so wherever you play with jdbc connection so right now this is my card application a java file and uh, i have kept all my projects in one single uh main folder and different 
packages I have. So I have only one library folder in this project so that I have added my SQL connector jar fill over here. So do check this one with your project. This is the uh, CRUD application using JDBZ. So hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, try this and let me know if you get, uh, you know, if you get any um, queries or questions in the comment section. Um, hit the like button if you like the video. Uh, thank you and thanks for watching the video.